Kill your friend, no kill your friend, one hundred percent copy. Lima Zulu one, Papa Mexico, Papa five with with Bravo Micro Tony. Thank you very much for the fifty nine micro report in Bulgaria. Uh, the U.S. report is a five and six, a five and six, a radio. Before I start playing with this radio, I should go to the AM mode and uh, test the SWR on this antenna. So this is the very good feature of this radio, that this radio has an integrated SWR meter and also it has the S high SWR protection in it and this SWR protection you can turn on or turn off in this case. So here on 10 meter band is the SWR 1.1. I am on the frequency 28500. You can change on the QT80 also the backlight colors with the function button and the band button. With the mode button you can select upper sideband, lower sideband, external speaker, CW mode, FM mode and AM mode. Then you're back in the upper sideband. You can use these modes within all frequencies which this radio gives you. And the best feature of this radio, and I think this is the first CB radio or 10 meter band radio for the car, which integrated noise reduction. And the noise reduction works amazingly good. Let's hear. And yes, you can also adjust the noise reduction level and you have to go into the menu by a long press of the function button over here. And menu number 28 is receiver noise reduction. So again, long press 28 with this tuning button, RX noise reduction and press tuning button and you can adjust the noise reduction within level 1 and 5. Normally when you buy the radio and when you don't modify this radio, so if you do not expand the frequency on this radio, you can get only 10 meter band. And the radio comes with this channel mode. So here you can see the channels and you can see the G which means the frequency range. This radio has multiple ranges and you can with the band button moving within the frequency ranges. Of course this already modified so you can see also the frequencies on 21 and 24 megahertz, 25, 26 and all the frequencies uh, from 15 meter to 10 meter, but if you don't have a modified radio, you will see only the frequency ranges within the 10 meter bands. So by pressing the band button, you can move within 
those frequency ranges. This is the channel mode and the spacing between the channels is 10 kilohertz so it's not very nice for amateur radio operators. Therefore you have to enter into the second mode which is the VFO mode. So by long pressing of this band button you can go to the VFO mode. This is like VF, VFO mode. In this mode you can freely tune your radio like a standard amateur radio. By short press of this tuning button you can change the step on this radio between 1 MHz and 100 Hz. You see that even 10 Hz you can change. So if you wish very quickly to move to another band, go to the megahertz step and you see that it is very fast to change the bands. Of course this radio offers the scanning function but the radio have to be squelched so if you are in FM mode like here or you can also be in the single sideband mode but the audio have to be squelched and the squelch is the knob over here which is the secondary knob there is also knob here but you need to use this bottom knob and you see the squelch level over here so when you are down there on the minimum you can see the audio squelch activated so ASQ is activated, the audio squelch means that if there is detected any audio signal the squelch will be automatically open and if you move the knob a little further you see that the squelch is off and even more further you see the squelch level setting so if you set the squelch level you don't hear the noise from the speaker I don't hear it. Now yes. Okay. So now we can use the scanning function. Short press of the scan button. You see that scanning is, is, is in process and yes I know the Yes I know the scanning is not <laughs> fast as you see, but it is there. And as you can see that this radio offers you also the CB band and 40 channels. This is currently FM mode and the CB band. You cannot change the receive filters in this radio. There is just the fixed filters for SSB, for FM, for AM modulations and also for the CW. So you cannot adjust or set any kind of the filters inside. But you can change your transmit with signal on this radio through the menu. In the menu 34 you can also adjust the AGC between a slow, fast and also uh, here 
you can find the microphone gain which is the menu number four and finally let me describe this left side of the radio with the knobs which is a very interesting panel by the way here we can see actually five knobs yeah they are not three knobs they are five knobs because this one on the bottom is just the one extra knob but the knobs here on top of this radio are actually divided to two which means that this top portion of the knob is one feature and the bottom portion of the knob is the second feature in this case this is the volume button top knob here is the RF gain and the bottom knob here is the power output from the radio here you can see also two knobs the bottom knob is the squelch adjustment and the top knob here is the frequency clarifier which means that you can very slightly change the frequency on this transceiver within maybe a few 10 Hertz or 100 Hertz you can also change the frequency range of this uh, clarifier in the menu uh, I think within uh, uh, 1 uh, kilohertz or 500 Hertz well there is also one thing what I have to mention regarding the output power of this radio when you are regulating the power here with this knob you can see on the screen a maximum number or the level on 45 that do not means that it is 45 watts here in the single sideband mode which I have there is a maximum 80 watts not 45 watts so please don't be fooled by this level information this is just a level and that means that this is the maximum power it is a bit confusing and it was confusing for me and I reported this thing to the seller and he promised me that it will be discussed with the uh, manufacturer of this radio and in the future versions they will fix this issue in the radio and would be the best if they change this level to the percentage and uh, 99 or 100 percent could be 100% of the power and uh, we know that 100% of power is 80 watts 50% is 40 watts and so on that would be much easier of course the best would be if they could change these levels to the output power so 80 watts means level 80 40 watts means level 40 and so on that would be better that would be the best Fortunately, this radio doesn't have a notch filter inside, so if you hear the beat on the frequency, you can't do anything with it. I must say that I really enjoy the beautiful audio from this speaker and from this radio itself, as it is completely analog radio, the noise, the background noise is much different than from a digital radio like the SDR. It's a beautiful audio and even more when you turn on the noise reduction and uh, you hear just the signal you want to hear. 
amazing. Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango. Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango. Booming here. Nice to meet you again, Paul. I see we have had a contact on six meters, but now we are at uh, 12. You are five and nine, very strong and clear here in, in the island of Binoka this morning, Paul. I am Zero ET, Echo Alpha 6, Mike Radio, over. It is a mobile radio transceiver, QT80, you can see it on the Google. So many thanks uh, again for this short QSO. Um, I wish you 73, enjoy the weekend. Echo Alpha 6, Mike uh, Romeo, Oscar Mike Zero, Echo Tango. QSL, uh, Paul, thank you very much. It has been a pleasure and I hope to meet you once again in the future. Uh, have a very pleasure weekend and enjoy. <laughs> Sorry. Enjoy with this new uh, transceiver and enjoy uh, with antenna as well. Best wishes, Paul. Uh, thank you. I'm zero ET. Echo Alpha 6, Mike Romeo. Bye bye. Thank you, 7 3, my friend.